Now on to the Monday Night Raw portion of John's Wrestling Views Week 3. Uh, of course, Raw being last night. An episode that I would like to give the title of as All Hail the Pale. As it did show the 2010 King of the Ring tournament. Uh, once again, the ability to disappoint kind of took into factor, factor again. How I view as a general King of the Ring synopsis anymore. Um, the heel becomes the King of the Ring, developing more of the heel character. Uh, I do think they have the ability to do more with this year's King of the Ring winner as they have two years ago when William Regal won it. Uh, William Regal, I guess, is on wrestling hiatus right now, as alluded to by CM Punk last night on Raw. I haven't seen William Regal in a couple weeks. He has been mainly on Superstars. Um, and probably won't see him for a little while, as I guess he's taking a break from the ring. You know, he'll be back, and probably they won't have much to do with him as usual when he does come back. But, enough of that, you know, last night showed, it was an episode of royalty, definitely, as obviously the King of the Ring tournament took place. It was Alberto Del Rio taking on Daniel Bryan in the first match. Uh, once again, Daniel Bryan's got the ability to have any wrestling fan on the edge of their seats. He has the ability to excite you in any of his matches. Um, once again, this time without uh, Berto Del Rio as his opponent, it delivered. Um, and end result actually showed Del Rio making Daniel Bryan tap out to his cross arm bar that he likes to do. And then showed John Morrison taking on Dashing Cody Rhodes. Great match as well. In the end, showed both men... Uh, pretty much going for the exact same move almost simultaneously but there's where that almost factors in there as uh, Dashing Cody Rhodes went off the ropes first to hit what he calls a beautiful disaster uh, Morrison wasn't there as he was going off the ropes at the same time just right after where he was able to hit the flying chuck uh, and then he hit Dashing Cody Rhodes with the same kick that he beat Sheamus with the Survivor Series uh, John Morrison goes on to the semifinals in King of the Ring. The third match of uh, the first round was kind of the match that determined the rest of the outcome as it was Ezekiel Jackson versus Drew McIntyre. The two wrestled to a double countout. Once again, you know, still not having much to do with the Ezekiel Jackson storyline of things. They're still obviously trying to look for a storyline from do in the meantime. He's kind of a time filler. Like I said before, I like Jackson. I'm excited to see what they have to do with him in the stories. However, I'm still wondering what that is. Uh, the two battled to a double count out last night, and then Jackson had the upper hand after that. But nothing in return, as it was a double count out. Neither man advanced, meaning the winner of the Sheamus Kofi Kingston match would get a bye into the semi or into the finals, actually. Uh, Sheamus and Kofi Kingston, a great match, and and showed Sheamus getting his bye into the uh, semifinal or into the finals. Uh, you know, as a result of the double countout between Jackson and McIntyre, which then went on to see Morrison and Alberto Del Rio in the the only semifinals match. Uh, Alberto Del Rio in the driver's seat until his familiar annoying. Uh, horn honking sound uh, took place. This time Rey Mysterio being in the car costing Del Rio his match against uh, John Morrison as Morrison took advantage with the roll up I believe it was after that. Morrison getting a three count. Morrison advances to the finals to face Sheamus. Sheamus the well rested man only had one match as compared to John Morrison's two matches. Uh, there's Sheamus's advantage there. Morrison has the advantage of the last time they faced each other. Morrison won. Uh, a pretty decent match, actually, in the finals of the King of the Ring. But Sheamus being the more fresh of the two, in the end wins. Sheamus is the 2010 King of the Ring, thus alluding to the title of All Hail the Pale. Uh, I'm anxious to see where they go from here. Um, I hope, I really hope that they don't make it as annoying as Booker T was a couple years ago when he won the King of the Ring tournament. 
yeah, I find that they can do something better with it than when William Regal won two years ago. Uh, Sheamus, already a big caliber superstar. Things are only looking up here f from for him. Uh, developing more of the Sheamus character in the WWE picture. Uh, once again, I said a week of royalty as it showed the main event being The Miz defending the WWE Championship against Jerry the King Lawler in a tables, irons, and chairs match. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be the most exciting TLC match as Jerry the King Lawler is much past his prime. There's only so much that can happen to him. Uh, you know, every big hit of the match was on The Miz. Miz uh, was the one crashing into the ladders. Um, taking all the big hits that you would normally see anyone in the match taken as King really couldn't. Unless they wanted to kill him. Um, in the end saw uh, The Miz going through a table. King climbing up the ladder and seeing Michael Cole developing his character more as The Miz fanboy. Costin Jerry the King Lawler of the match. Uh, Lawler punched out Michael Cole as the Miz was climbing up the ladder. Lawler meets him at the top. Miz grabs the title, hits Lawler in the face with it up there, which caused Lawler's biggest fall. You know, he was about the third or fourth rung from the top on the ladder, and he crashed to the mat. Like, you know, in any other TLC match, uh, he probably would have went through a table. Once again, Lawler's past his prime. Probably can't handle a table collision like that. Um, at the mat, Miz is still the champion. Obviously, he's still going to develop and more of the Miz character as WWE champion. Uh, as Orton was supposedly injured with or nursing his knee injuries from what happened last week. Uh, anxious to see what the WWE title picture is going to look like from here as Miz is still WWE champion. You know... He's earned it. Miz, you know, he's one of those guys you love to hate, but really, if you want to get technical, he's one of those heels that deserves to be in the big title picture now. Uh, great mic skills, uh, great in-ring ability, and like I said, he really has done over with the fans where he's developed his character where you can't stand him, and that's what makes a good heel champion as the Miz is now. Uh, I don't expect a long title reign for this first one, but a decent one nonetheless. I'm anxious to see where WWE wants to go from here with Miz as their champion of their flagship show. Uh, on to flagship characters. John Cena, is he fired from WWE? Well, storylines say he is, yet he's still finding a way to get into the show. Obviously, they're going to find a way to bring him back. Um, last night, attacking members of Nexus, started with a backstage at attack against Michael McKillicuddy and then showed him with ringside seats getting involved with the uh, uh, Justin Gabriel Heath Slater match against Mark Henry and Yoshi Tatsu distracting Slater enough to allow Mark Henry to hit the world's strongest slam winning a match for him and Tatsu and then grabbing Slater afterwards and hitting the attitude adjustment on him through the announce table and then later on in the show talking to Wade Barrett saying you know, security's not going to do anything when uh, when it comes to his hate for Nexus because Nexus attacked them in the first place. Why should they do anything about somebody attacking Nexus? And in result, saw a backstage brawl between uh, Gabriel Otunga and Hus Husky Harris against like a ton of members from the Raw locker room, which saw... Gabriel's head going through a window of a car, and then the attitude adjustment on the hood of a car. Uh, John Cena's obviously not gone. I'm now anxious to see how they're actually going to work it to where he technically does have a contract, even in storyline again. Obviously going to happen real soon. We have not seen the end of John Cena. Overall, pretty decent episode of Monday Night Raw last night, three hours. You know, they did well with their time. Uh, standout superstar of the week, I would have to say, is John Morrison. You know, he battled three matches last night as opposed to Sheamus doing two, and one would assume that if Morrison only had to wrestle two matches like Sheamus did, maybe we would have seen a different outcome in the King of the Ring tournament. Uh, but, you know, it stands as it stands. Sheamus is a 2010 King of the Ring, but Morrison had one heck of an effort last night. And 